Okay. Let's make history. So this is another of the games at the top of classical archaeology. The currently ever been in Diamond Four West Venture, uh, Mojo Reminder type game. I chose this because it's kind of the opposite of the uh, other game flanks. that I've done. Might try something. So far, the other game was an angle creator game, right? I was like, okay, my monkey and my Genji want somebody to make a loud noise as far away from them as possible. This is a game where I'm playing what? with a Junker Queen. Um, and Junker Queen wants someone to make a loud noise as close to her as possible. So that she can murder people while those people have to decide which loud noise to shoot at. So I'm going to try to be as close to my Junker Queen as possible and just make her super loud noise. Now, the first two fights I'm going to mess up, so don't be surprised. This is me saying I want their Doomfist who is the only one with any ability to go to high grounds and challenge me to exit the fight and challenge me so that my Junker Queen can mop the floor with their McCree. So that's, that's my plan. I come to a spot only their Doomfist can get to, and I make a loud noise near their Doomfist. Unfortunately, their Doomfist goes take the bait, and my Junker Queen goes in without me, and I say, oh, okay. Well, the fights are too fast for me to create something. Um, you know, large, uh, off angle or whatever, like a, a deep angle like that. Um, so that's the only time this whole game you're going to see me do that. Now I decide, okay, screw making an angle before the fight, like I would with a monkey. This is a Junker Queen. I'm going to make an angle mid-fight. I'm going to walk in right next to the Junker Queen and shoot whoever the Junker Queen shoots at and then push past them with my drill. So that they can either look at me behind them or her in front of them and, you know, cause chaos that way. So I see what my Junker Queen wants to do. She clearly wants to get to that high ground, so I'm just going to drill up there and go into high ground. Hi, high ground bros! High five! And now their Doom and their Elf are the only ones who can contest us up here. So I'm waiting for the Doom to come. Here he comes, I hear him. Doom came high ground, I'm going to put him off. Oh, I missed. I'm doing it. So, like I said, first two fights are just kind of mistakes, and they're going to get a lot of point cap off of those mistakes, but then we're going to do okay from there, so, you know, Okay, so find the Junker Queen, make a loud noise. There's the Junker Queen right there. She wants me to shoot the Anna, obviously. So the people that she shoots at. He says, we're shooting my free, and I say, okay, I'm shooting my free. And now Tracer is harassed in the back line. Shoot Tracer. Bye, Tracer. Good times. So we continue to be in a stagger in this situation. It's not really that important. Can we do anything else in the area? Just as deep as Junker Queen wants us to go. Keep making mad noises. Alright, so you see this? We're down one, enemy team just ulting. So we're down one and they're ulting. But my whole team has ults, right? So they want to ult. The only way you catch up when you're down one and the enemy team ulted is if you blow ults. So either we're dying here, in which case I should go as far away from point as possible so it takes them a long time to cap point. Or we want to ult, in which case I should go as far away from point as possible so that the enemy looks at me rather than my team and my team can ult them from behind. So that's why I'm doing this. Right into all four of them, and sure enough, my team ults them from behind. Hop up. And kill two people. And there we go. So now I saw the Anna I saw the down here, so I'm going to answer for it. Dunker Queen is coming with me because we need Dunker Queen. Same case. Trace is gone too. And now the Dunker Queen's. Fighting for point. I can hear the McCree's footsteps, so my team's obviously got point. There's no enemies there anymore. It's fine. They don't need me. And McCree's coming, so let's try to try to assassinate. He dodged. He's smart. I did basically no damage with the first half of my combo, so there's no point in doing the second half. But uh, because he dodged, I tried to burrow right away. I'm like, well, if he dodges, I burrow. And then he stunned me, so now I have no cooldowns. But luckily, 
He wanted to try to stall point. So, I'm um, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> so now he's trying to disengage, but I'm shooting his back and he gets killed from the side. Again, you saw the knife fly by. I know Junker Queen's with me. I can be aggressive. I want to get behind them, because in front of them is Junker Queen. Behind them. Now, in order to sleep me, you can't sleep Junker Queen. You get squished. It's all very simple. This game is the opposite. Don't try to figure out where people are and go somewhere else. Try to figure out where people are and go to Loud noise next to the I kind of thought I could see, but I couldn't. But I don't know what nice is. My jungle queen, I gotta say, I don't agree with that, but I can't not do it for take one. <laughs> she ults their spawn, I ult their spawn. Does not work. But I got us the main jet. So now, one of Inter's many to join me. Get enough to spawn super quickly. Let's see if we can get another one. Step right up. Ooh, looks like we're over there. Then Junker Queen on Elsa, I'm on Elsa. Junker Queen wants McCree, I want McCree. <laughs> Bye, McCree. Junker Queen wants Anna, I want Anna. <laughs> this is like the simplest algorithm you'll ever did see. So now, obviously, final fight, use your ults. So even a dumb opportunity to use my ult, I'm gonna take. Once he uses bu bubble, that's a dumb opportunity. I think it's time to ult. There we go. Tsune Rush Kiriko ult underneath me. My goal is to just hold down left click because I found that I can't aim during Kutsune Rush and benefit from its its damage. So I usually just point my mouse at their tank and hold down the button. Oh, it's safe. But I'm playing with my best team and she wants to go into hard space, so I want to go into hard space. This is like very risky positionally, but you can't not do it. <laughs> but me being dead helped Junker King kill Anna. And their tank died for it too. Keep that off the record. Plus, before I even died, we got points. Coming through. I'm really feeling the heat. Oh, we're all set. Let's take this one. So now, slightly different than than the, the previous map. There's so much high ground where my Junker Queen wants to be that I'm gonna be less focused on loud noise next to Junker Queen and more focused on what I was doing last game, which is angle creator. I'm gonna find spots where I can almost hit the, the hog so that the hog knows I'm there and he wants to hook me and then just not get hooked. <laughs> There's a 
hog. Please try to hook me. And he throws his hook at me even though I'm burrowed. I'm not gonna get up either. He threw another hook at me, he missed. Now again, I see my Mercy and my career far left, right? So my Junker Queen's in a lot of trouble here. So I want to get far right as soon as I can. You see? Why? The same same logic as last game. It's the uh, if my team is far left and they want to be shooting people in the back, where do I have to be far right? I'm the people I'm definitely not gonna kill. I'm not trying to you know, kill people here. I'm just making a loud noise so that people look away from the tree. Oh, the ult. And he kills the elf with his ult, and I accidentally killed him. That was kind of a 1v2 elf should not let me kill Hansa. So on the previous map, there was no high ground where we wanted to be, so I had to play inside the curtain, but... But this map, lots of cool high grounds, so I'm just going to keep trying to get them to shoot helixes and hooks at me. And I want Hansa to wall climb right side, a soldier doing it. Good. We wasted a bunch of time wasting all the other ones. But you saw, like, I did kill the soldier there, but the reason I ulted there wasn't to kill the soldier. When I decide to ult here, there's no good shot for my ult, right? I'm not ulting because, oh look, easy to hit target. Like, I'm, I can't even hit him at this point. Why am I ulting? I'm ulting because their hog is ulting. <laughs> and I want him to waste his ult looking at me. I want him to turn around. He doesn't. Like, he doesn't fall for it. But I do get some pressure off my team in the middle of a hog ult, in the middle of a tree. Like, the enemy just threw two ults into my ult. And in order to look at me, they have to look away from my team. So this is one of those suicidal plays. I do these a lot, but there's no way I'm going to live through this. I might not even get a kill through this, but during a very dangerous time for my team, look at what the enemy is doing. You know, every single enemy player is shooting at me. <laughs> even the tracer is coming back for me and the elf over here is thinking about me. And I don't know where the inn is. Sorry. Shouldn't, oh, she's in spawn. Anyway. So I knew I had both of my abilities and I needed to make a loud noise, which is how I made a loud noise. Right. It's high noon. Draw. And now we're in overtime in the point. All is well. I think the Junker Queen actually got three kills off. Nonsense. Pretty cool. Anyway, another very easy game and a string of easy games. Lots of wins. Just distract people while your team kills them. It's cool.